Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on DarkSack. I am Dark, and today we're going to be taking a look at the room Hydra on Trihackney. Hydra is one of the core tools in your hacking repertoire, and this is a nice, quick little room that will teach you how to use the tool and get familiar with its syntax. And one of the most important functions of Hydra, which is brute forcing web logins. So Hydra, learn about, learn about and use Hydra a fast network logon cracker to brute force and obtain a website's credentials. All right, let's dive into task one, Hydra introduction. So what is Hydra? Hydra is a brute force online password cracking program, a quick system login password hacking tool. So what is that in English? We can brute force things. We throw a bunch of passwords at something and see what sticks uh, and see what comes back and we what we can actually log in with. Uh, we can use Hydra to run through a list and brute force some authentication service. Imagine trying to manually guess someone's password on a particular service. So, for example, SSH, a web application form, so like logging into a website, uh, FTP, or SNMP. Uh, SNMP is not very common to see this used for. Uh, these are going to be the big ones that you're going to use it for. However, it's good to know all the various things this supports. We can use Hydra to run through a password list and speed this process up for us determining the correct password. Uh, and then you can see that there's a whole bunch of ways that we can use this here. Again, the most important ones here are going to be HTTP post, uh, form post, uh, and some other things like that. FTP, yeah, you can dig through there and see a whole bunch of them. And there's even some fun ones in here like TeamSpeak. For more information, you can go through and read that. Uh, that is the Kali Tools page for it. I believe Hydra also has a main page, which is really helpful. However, generally speaking, whenever you're going to be using this, you'll probably just Google the syntax as you need it. However, once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this shows the importance of using a strong password. If your password is common, doesn't contain special characters, and or is not above eight characters, it's going to be prone to being guessed. 10 million password or 100 million password lists exist containing common passwords. So it, when an out-of-the-box application uses an easy to password to log on, make sure to change it from the default. Uh, this is actually one of the most common ways that uh, when I'm working on penetration tests that we get into applications, just trying the default password. Or if there's a known default password for an organization, it's probably that. Often uh, CCTVs, so closed circuit TV cameras, uh, these are going to be used for security. And web frameworks use admin for the username and then password for the password, uh, which is obviously not strong enough. Uh, yeah, those don't use those. Please don't. We have password managers for a reason, like LastPass and whatever one you want to use. Just use something better than that. Installing Hydra. Uh, so you don't have to worry about this if you're using Kali. Uh, you can install this from, I believe, the apt repository otherwise, but... Honestly, you should be using Kali for this, and if you are not, uh, that's kind of on you at that point. Read the above and have Hydra at the ready. We'll go ahead and mark that as completed, and then we're going to dive into task two, using Hydra. So deploy the machine. Um, in this case, this is a dynamically generated IP address. I've gone ahead and already deployed it before this. This can take a couple minutes to boot. Uh, one thing to note, there's a web interface on this, and we'll take a look at it here in a minute. It, um, it takes a moment to come up, so if you are having issues with trying to use Hydra against it, give it a little bit longer and just make sure that the box is fully booted. So Hydra commands, uh, this is the base structure of what using Hydra looks like. So you have the Hydra uh, keyword, the uh, lowercase l, which is going to be your username. This means you're using one username and you're not enumerating over the username. So this would be, for example, admin or administrator, or uh, as we're going to use later on, Molly. Uh, if this were capital, it means that we were going through a list of uh, actual, like, a, it's a list of usernames at that point. Uh, same thing with this capital P here. Uh, this means we're using a list of passwords in this case. If we were using a lowercase p, that means we're using just one password. And then here at the end, we have FTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the actual IP that we're attacking. However, we can do this another way. Uh, the Hydra syntax is pretty flexible, and I'll show you how to do it another way here in a moment. So uh, this is one specific way that we can do it. This is SSH. 
And again, we have the username here, the full path to the password list. Uh, in this case, for this room, we're gonna be using Rock U, and I'm using it out of the default path on Kali to make things easy. Dash T, lowercase t, is the number of threads that we're gonna use. You don't typically have to specify this as Hydro takes care of the recommended amount of threads for you. Typically, you will take note of how many threads Hydra gives you by default. And if you find that there's a bunch of issues, like maybe the box is really slow to respond and you're getting errors spit back at you, you'll lower this from what it is. Uh, and then the actual protocol. So that is being taken from, if we go back up here, these are those protocols. And this is actually typed out pretty much exactly how you would type them into Hydra. However, these are typically all lowercase. So FTP, for example, would be lowercase. Uh, this is another example. We have the web login form. Uh, note the key difference here is this bit here at the end. So we have our username and then our password list here, the IP address, and then we're, specify, we're specifying that we're using an HTTP post form. So we're posting our information using that verb. And if you're not familiar with that, I would recommend checking out the web fundamentals room. I do have another walkthrough on that on the DarkSec channel. Uh, and you can get familiar with that post verb. Then we have the actual, so the slash here before the colon is going to be the directory. So in this case, it'd be room and then Hydra after the actual uh, base website itself. And then we have our parameters for logging in. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, this very last bit here at the end after that colon is going to be what failing looks like. So Hydra, in order to attempt logging in, needs to know what phrase is going to show up on the website when you fail to log in. And then this last capital V is just verbose. And we can see that's echoed down here. So if the word incorrect appears in this case, uh, that means that we failed to log in. Perfect. So we're going to jump into two quick questions here to find a, uh, to brute force a web password and then brute force an SSH password. Awesome. Let's go ahead and jump over to the website. You can get to this by just clicking this link. I already have it open here. And we're greeted with a pretty simple website. Uh, if I take a look at Wappalizer, let's see what it is. Looks like we're just using Node with Express. So very simple room, very straightforward. Uh, we can see that we have a login panel, though, that has a username and a password. With this, uh, we can actually, what we want to do is turn on our BERT proxy. You don't necessarily have to do it for this room. I'm gonna demonstrate how you can get these parameters, um, but we would turn on our BERT proxy, and then I wanna capture a request to see how the username and password are sent. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is switch over to BERT, and I've gone ahead, here we'll turn intercept on, and I'm gonna take a page out of Ipsec's book here. We'll do dark star, and then we'll do please subscribe. And we're gonna try to log in with that. And we can see our request is intercepted by burp, which is what we wanted. Uh, here at the bottom is, however, what we actually care about from this. So we have the username equals, and then we have our username, and then our password equals the password. This is gonna be how the parameters are sent to the website. We can take this, and we're actually gonna switch back over to our command line. And we're gonna see how we can use this to log in here in just a moment. But before that, we're actually gonna fail a login attempt. So I'm gonna go ahead, we will forward this just because we don't really need it and I'm gonna turn intercept off and we failed our login attempt. So here we can see are given this phrase, your username or password is incorrect whenever we fail a login attempt. So we can take this and I'm gonna copy that and we'll go into the terminal. And here we can see I've already got the command typed out but we're gonna walk through this, if I make it a little bit bigger as well, and we're gonna talk about what these sections are here again. So first off, we have the Hydra phrase that's launching Hydra, then we have our username here. Again, we're specifying just this one username since we're using lowercase l, and then dash capital P to direct uh, to go directly to our Rock U word list in this case. Uh, one note, if you have a fresh Kali installation or you've never used Rock U on your Kali install, you will need to extract this and it is going to be in this USR share word list directory and you can extract that here we'll do uh, I believe it's tar xvf and then USR share word list and then it should just be rock u dot tar dot gc so uh, you'll just need to go through and you should do tab completion at this point I think it's txt dot 
Uh, yeah. Uh, do tab completion at this point. This should be the command that you can go through and extract that with. So we'll go up, and here we can see that we have that commit again fully typed out. So we have the path to our word list. We have the IP that we're going to be attacking. We're specifying that this is a post form, and again, that's going to be that post verb. And then we have our information. So this is at the slash login directory, and we can see this up in the web browser. And then colon username equals, and this is where we put in our keywords for Hydra. So we have caret user in all caps, and then caret, and then ampersand password, which is our second, uh, the actual second parameter that we're sending that has that password contained in, equals caret pass in all caps, and then caret. And then we have colon, and then this is our phrase that specifies that we failed to log in. Uh, we need this again so that Hydra knows that this isn't working, Chief. So now that we've got that all typed out, I'm going to go ahead and run this. This one's actually pretty quick, as is our next one. So we can go through and we'll run this. And we'll give it just a moment. And there we go. Sure enough, we can see that we have our username and then our password. So let's go back to the website. And then sunshine for that password. And perfect. We can see that we have our flag here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this into the room. And we can switch back over to the terminal to try to brute force that SSH flag. All right, switching over. This one is significantly easier. Uh, this is very, very straightforward for SSH. We can see here we have Hydra and then our login again of Molly, the path to rock you. And again, make sure you extract that the IP that we're attacking, and then SSH here. Very simple, and we can go ahead and run this. And we'll give it just a moment. This one doesn't take very long as well. And we can see that her password is butterfly. So we can do SSH molly at 10.10.0.223. And again, your IP address will be different. And we'll accept that fingerprint. And then butterfly. Perfect. And we can see that we have flag two. And that is going to do it. Let's go ahead and copy that. And we'll switch back over to the room. And there we go. That is going to do it for the Hydra room. If you have any questions, feel free to join either. I have both the Try Hack Me official Discord linked in the description as well as the DarkSec Discord. Uh, if you like this content and want more, Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel here and I will see you guys next time.